hey guys and welcome back to my channel um i am so sorry for not uploading for two months my life has been super 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 hectic i graduated from university for my masters i'm having a baby and i have two kittens now so i've been very very busy but um as everything is falling into place i'm sure that i will be posting more often so today I thought I would give you a redraw. I've been a bit down on my drawings lately, doubting myself a lot, not really sure what I want to do. I think it's just me coming down from university and that whole stress level that you get from um, getting your thesis done. And um, so I've been not really doing much drawings and when I have I've not been recording them so this time I did record one and I thought I would um, redraw the old drawing this one is the third redrawing I'm making the first one was in 2015 then 2016 which is the one that you see on your screen and now the 2019 one to be fair, like for me, doing this, it's really helpful. Not only do I get to see what kinds of things I'm looking at differently, like the techniques that I'm using or the way that I color things or, um, you know, my anatomy knowledge, but also it shows me exactly where I want to go. Now with this drawing, I'm mainly focused on line art rather than painting. Um, I don't know why, I just felt like doing it like this, um, so I did. <laughs> so um, as I noticed as I was drawing this, my knowledge of anatomy has grown a whole bunch and um, I'm, I'm happy with that. Um, my lines are different than they ever were before. And even though the 2016 one is more a painting than it's a line art based one, I did see that it was like super saturated compared to what I draw now. Um, that doesn't mean that, like, for artists, a lot of times when we post things like this, um, watchers, followers, friends, whatever, they look at it and they go, Oh, but I really like the one from this and this year as well. It's not that we don't like them. Um, it's in my case, it's not that I don't like it. I do really like the one from 2016. I think it has a sort of playfulness to it. Um, it's just that I want to see where I am now. And through doing that, I can see where I want to go. One of the things that I did notice when I was doing this, and maybe it's because it's line art. Um, I noticed a lot that my studies, so me studying for animation, had had a big effect on how I'm drawing now um, when it comes to line art. It's completely different than, I, than what I used to use as lines. Now I more use lines in, in a freer way. They're more playful. They're not as stiff. I don't know, I, I like them more. There's more gesture in it, more life in them. What I did notice though, is that if I look at the picture from 2016 and the one from 2015, it's a big jump. And as I was looking back to that and then the one that I made in 2019, I got a bit sad because I thought, oh, I've really not really progressed between 2016 and 2019 but there's barely any anatomy in the 2015 one the colors are a bit off it's bland so to then have the 2016 one pop in it I don't know it just pops out more there's anatomy that makes sense <laughs> it actually looks like a person and um, so I hope that if you're an artist and you're looking at this or you're a beginner or anything that you don't let it get you down too much because leveling up is difficult if you have the fundamentals kind of 
under the belt like you understand them um, because there's only so much that you can learn in anatomy like proportions um, and then you stop growing in it and then it starts going into like the weight of the line and the way you use your line and stuff like that but um, you won't really see difference in how you measure something because if it's good it's good so for me um, I'm happy with the outcome I knew that I would be behind um, progress that I wanted to make because I had four years of university where it was I wouldn't recommend it if you're able in this day and age if you're able to teach yourself things check YouTube it's cheaper and it will help you with a lot of frustration I just wouldn't do it because um, I see that I, I could have learned much much more than if I had gone to university because I did learn a lot more in my time um, self-studying like I was drawing four or five drawings a day and now I did maybe five in one whole year because so much time went into university anyway I got my degree so that's all I care about now um, for now I um, the, the idea of where I want to go is I had a really really good mentor over the summer period I will link her down in the description and that's where I want to go I want to go to more of a painting portrait storytelling background um, inspiring fantasy world think 40k Warhammer 40k think Blizzard games think Skyrim <laughs> Red Dead Redemption even I don't know just more elaborate pieces so yeah that's where I want to go this is where I am now with my line works um, which I'm happy with because it shows in my animations anyway I hope that if you're watching this and you don't know what to do with your time or you don't know um, what to like you're not really feeling inspired try this try a draw this again thing um, we also have Inktober right now so maybe that's a bandwagon you want to jump onto I know I have so anyway thank you all for watching check out my socials they're linked below in the description or after this video and don't forget to check out my awesome mentor have a good day <laughs> bye